former diplomat and presidential advisor Henry Kissinger, known for his key role in shaping American foreign policy, celebrates a remarkable milestone. On Saturday, he marks his 100th birthday, surpassing many of his political contemporaries who guided the United States through tumultuous times, including the presidency of Richard Nixon and the Vietnam War. Born in Germany on May 27, 1923, Kissinger's influence on American foreign policy during the 1960s and 1970s remains indelible. He played a significant part in the efforts to extricate the U.S. from the Vietnam War, although his involvement in controversial actions during the conflict remains disputed. In a heartfelt tribute to his father, David Kissinger wrote in the Washington Post, his centenary might have seemed inevitable to those familiar with his force of character and love for historical symbolism. He has not only outlived his peers, eminent detractors, and students, but has also remained indefatigably active throughout his 90s. This week, the esteemed elder Kissinger will celebrate his centenary with visits to New York, London, and his hometown of Firth, Germany. Even in recent years, Kissinger continues to exert influence as an elder statesman over Washington's power brokers. He has provided advice to presidents from both the Republican and Democratic parties, including during the Trump administration. Simultaneously, he has maintained an international consulting business, captivating audiences with speeches delivered in his distinctive German accent, a remnant of his teenage years when he fled the Nazi regime with his family. Just this month, Kissinger shared his insights on the war in Ukraine, predicting a turning point with China entering negotiations. Speaking to CBS News, he anticipated that negotiations would reach a critical stage by the end of the year. Kissinger advocates for peace through negotiation as a means to resolve the conflict. Beyond his political engagements, Kissinger co-authored a book in 2021 titled The Age of AI and Our Human Future, focusing on the potential risks associated with artificial intelligence. He urges governments to prepare for the challenges that lie ahead. Throughout his career, Kissinger played a central role in significant foreign policy events. As National Security Advisor and Secretary of State for eight years, he initiated the concept of shuttle diplomacy, seeking peace in the Middle East. He engaged in secret negotiations with China, effectively thawing relations between the two superpowers. Kissinger was also instrumental in the Paris peace talks, striving to bring an end to the Vietnam conflict and the presence of U.S. military forces there. However, Kissinger faced criticism when Saigon fell to North Vietnamese communist forces in 1975, with many American allies pointing fingers at him and President Nixon. They were also accused of expanding the conflict into Laos and Cambodia, inadvertently aiding the rise of the genocidal Khmer Rouge regime, which claimed the lives of approximately two million Cambodians. Despite controversies, Kissinger garnered endorsements for his contributions. He played a vital role in the period of détente, a diplomatic effort between the U.S. and the Soviet Union from 1967 to 1979, aimed at reducing Cold War tensions through trade and arms negotiations, including the Strategic Arms Limitation Talks Treaties. During Nixon's administration, Kissinger emerged as one of his most trusted advisors, even as the Watergate scandal unfolded and led to the downfall of the 37th president. In 1977, Gerald Ford, who assumed the presidency following Nixon's resignation, awarded Kissinger the Presidential Medal of Freedom, lauding his wisdom and compassion in wielding America's power for the pursuit of peace. However, critics argue that Kissinger prioritized power over harmony during his time in Washington, implementing realpolitik policies that often